G'day fellow miners, Armitage here, and welcome to episode 2 in uh, Shanks at Dawn Ultra Hardcore Free For All. Um, last episode, uh, I managed to get a bit of a sneaky kill on Disdained, um, through a bit of bad luck on his part. His sound wasn't quite working properly, so he just didn't hear me coming up behind him. Um, and then I ran around for a bit in the night, and now I am making my uh, way underground. Um, I'm just about to build a furnace. Um, I am... <clears throat> my plan right now is to try and find iron. So what I'm doing is um, I've got some iron there. I've got two pieces of iron, uh, iron ore. Um, I'm just going to cook my pork chops and then dig my way down until I find something. Um, as you know, if you saw the last episode, oh, here we go, uh, a ravine. Um, as you know, if you saw the last episode, I did forget to record uh, my microphone audio during um, during the actual event. Um, I've said it before, the audio that I was well, my commentary at the time wasn't great anyway. Lots of silence, lots of uh, lots of concentrating on what I was doing. Um, but uh, at the moment, I'm uh, at this point in the game, I was feeling pretty good. Um, you know, having found a ravine is very handy, and I noticed that there was a uh, an abandoned mine shaft as well in the ravine which means uh, spider spider webs so I could get some string for a bow possibly um, I believe my stone pick is just about to break I've got another maybe two or three blocks to chip away and it's done there we go so I have to go back up and create another pick and while I'm up there I can retrieve my uh, pork chops and have a nice eight heart fall. So eight hearts of damage I took there. Um, I was absolutely ropeable. Uh, that was a combination of several things. The reason I fell is, uh, firstly, it's, it was very late when this was recorded. Um, we were sort of over. We started about two hours later than uh, we planned. Um, and um, I was just being very careless as well, um, which is probably a product of it being late. And my mouse, when I use fraps, my mouse has this issue with um, with its uh, uh, responsiveness. And I was just having a look at the health there. I am losing the race right now most of the guys are on six hearts or higher um, so I finished cooking the pork chops and decide to convert some more wood but yeah <clears throat> that was a real blow uh, having taken somebody out without taking any damage and then having to, you know, having taken eight hearts from falling, just, it, uh, it really, it really, uh, broke my spirits. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> um, I was feeling pretty low at this point because, um, I'd been doing so well up until that point. So anyway, now my... The dynamic shifted for me. My primary, um, my primary uh, goal was to find gold. Find gold, then hopefully go and find an apple. Um, and uh, make myself a golden apple to get some health back. So I'm going to continue to dig down into this... Uh, into this ravine and I think I think there's 
I may have already spotted it, but I know there is gold on the other side of the ravine. Um, now I'm just cleaning up a bit of uh, gravel to see if I can get some flint. Um, of course, flint useful for making arrows. Um, and I, as I said, there's a <clears throat> there's an abandoned mine shaft in the ravine, so there is the good possibility of being able to get enough string to make a bow. But yeah, my right now my primary goal is to find gold as quickly as I can. That way, I will have some gold if I do find an apple. Um, We're digging down, we're getting down. I have to be very careful I don't dig out underneath myself. And I'm not sure why I opt to go to double back and put myself closer to that lava, but I do it anyway, <laughs> fairly sort of carelessly. And I'm down. Light the place up a bit. And there's our abandoned mine shaft. I'm just looking around to see if I can see any names. Um, and there's some gold there, which is comforting. And some more gold right there, which is also comforting. But somehow I have to negotiate this lava. And I'm not even sure why. I'm heading to the gold because I don't have an iron pickaxe on me. Um, and I nearly use a stone pickaxe to break it. Uh, lucky it takes quite a bit of time to, uh, to break gold with a stone pickaxe because it would have been completely wasted. Um, so there we go, that's a another block of iron ore. <clears throat> um, so I now have, there's two blocks smelting right now up in the um, little station, little uh, crafting station I've set up. And this is me attempting to be as careful as possible getting up and trying not to jump again. where I can't so there's two iron plus the iron ore gives me enough for for a, an iron pick and I'm just checking again to see if I can see any names while I'm waiting for this iron to smelt I can't see anything it uh, <clears throat> After watching the first episode, I've got a little bit of that sort of hindsight that the guys that uh, have already like had had recorded their commentary. It's amazing how um, how many sort of places we crossed over. Cerberus uh, towards the end of his first episode, he he goes oh, actually about midway through. He, he runs through the area above here um, looking for a cave and he goes practically right past past the cave entrance that I went into um, and one wolf actually goes in to um, the first cave where I dug up um, the coal that I started with um, this is me going across to get this gold on the other side of the ravine Uh, it's one um, 
M bot asking if he can use F3. And I'm going to block this water off because it's just annoying. Just to make it a little bit easier to get backwards and forwards. Uh, now I am eagerly heading towards this gold, which uh, these two will give me four, four gold bars or four gold ore blocks, and then over there is another one, two, three, four. So I have eight gold ore blocks right now. So all I need is an apple. And uh, I'm a bit worried about this lava, so I try and curb it somehow. Plenty of cobblestone from digging down. And get rid of some of the lava that's there. I'm cautiously probing into the dark, and here's some more gold. Another one, two, three, four, five six seven eight is that right another eight so i had 16 gold um which is uh, excellent i decided to take a little bit of this wood and then uh while i'm taking the wood i i sort of think about maybe i should grab this string and I can uh, at least make myself a bow in readiness for when I get uh, maybe get some arrows. And that's three string, which is what all you need to uh, to make a bow. And heading, I'm going to head back to my little crafting station area up the top, get this gold smelted. I'm pretty excited, you can see by how quickly I'm running up, and oh, I jump right off the edge and die. And that's that. <laughs> that is the end of my little campaign. Um, so yeah, you can imagine that I wasn't very happy with that result. Um, it was kind of annoying. You saw that I sort of had a bit of trouble steering my mouse again it was late I was being very careless um, and the fact that fraps kind of screws my mouse up a bit uh, really did annoy me but that's the breaks in uh, ultra hardcore I learned my lesson um, to be more careful when doing that sort of thing um, I really should have moved my crafting station down um, but that's it for today um, as it says, nothing more to see, just bleak darkness. I f the bleak darkness I feel in my heart after dying like an idiot. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the short amount of time that I was in there, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the guys' videos. And until next time, keep on digging.